What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Hey. Welcome to for Air Look. I just finished with my last consultation for the day. I got like an extra hour or two before I got to start doing some more content. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to hop on here and answer whatever questions y'all got for me. I know I haven't been live in a while. I've been swamped with clients. And I'm, uh, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for it. But I got to show love to my family. I got to show love to y'all, man. So any type of questions y'all want to know. And follow I'm seeing some new people up here. I haven't seen half of these usernames before. What's going on, Grand Slam? Um... Yeah, uh, my name is Coach Brian, so I'm a holistic uh, wellness person. I mean, practitioner, whatever you want to call it. I focus on herbal medicine. I just dropped all my iPad. I focus on herbal medicine. You know, I can't, I don't want to take my name off the charger, but all my books and stuff back there, I'm about to pull up some more stuff to, uh, for my other clients. But yeah, that's what I do. That's what I specialize in. And any type of questions y'all want to ask, whether it be about how to lose weight, Acne. Granted, I have a lot of that on my page already because I typically answer all of those questions on my page and content. But whatever questions y'all want to know while I'm responding to emails and doing some work, we haven't did a little sit down and a little chat in a while. But uh, I'm on here now and I might as well. So if y'all want to put in the comment thing down here, or if y'all want to ask in the question section, I'm going to get to both of them. But it's really up to y'all. But how y'all doing? How everybody doing? So where everybody from? Where y'all tuning in from? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? And can y'all hear me? Because I, I know my uh, my speaker's been kind of bad. I need another phone. I, I My phone still got the one camera, the little one little lens thing on it. I, I will ride a phone down to the ground. But where y'all from on today? What y'all doing? How y'all doing on today? What everybody got going on? North Carolina, all right? Grand Slam, what you want to know about five? What you want to know about it? What you want to know about it? Houston, Texas. Oh, you right by me. You right there. Toledo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who is city from Houston? Sebastian. Well, you like three hours from me. That's not. That's not too far at all. Hi from Atlanta. How are you? Oh, you have beautiful skin. That's because of beetroot and chlorophyll. I drank it all day every day with my distilled water, and I drank my tea. Hot on berry. You don't like. You don't need a lot of. Now, granted. Granted, I don't have a lot of hormone imbalances, but you don't need. I feel like you don't need a lot of uh, a lot of products and stuff like that whenever you actually just flushing your system out. I'm real big on sweating. I'm real big on. You uh, know, I have a sauna box in my closet over there. Like I pull that thing out, get you about a good thirty minutes out. I went and put something on the TV or whatever, or your phone. Well, you can't have your phone with your hands all sweaty. But you know, sweat it out. The more you sweat, the better. And keep, and keep yourself clean. You know? Not saying you're a dirty person. Okay. Dallas, Texas, you right there. Y'all yeah, close today. All right. I got Texas and Atlanta in the building on the day. But yeah, I mean, you wasn't too specific about like the fiber question, but I will say, um, beautiful fiber. So I will say this. Anytime that you're, what is this thing? Anytime that you're dealing with low levels of fiber, because I literally just had a client that I had to deal with not so long ago with that. Like, she just was not getting enough fiber. And she was just avoiding it. I was like, do you have something against fiber or something like that? Like, do you not like using the bathroom? It really helps with the breakdown of proteins. It really helps with the absorption of the minerals that you need. And it helps, you know, with your fecal matter. I don't want to get too graphic, but, you know, using the, um, using the, what you call it, using the bathroom, it really helps to regulate the system. But, uh, food poisoning, let's talk about food poisoning. Oof. I'll tell you one thing about food poisoning. Anytime there's an imbalance in your gut, because typically it's like some type of some type of bacteria or some type of something that got inside of your system that you just can't, you just your body ain't used to. I always tell people either chlorophyll water with well, chlorophyll mixed with distilled water or chlorella. Until your bowels get together, mix that together. Well, not the chlorella and the chlorophyll, but like the distilled water and the chlorophyll or the distilled water and the chlorella. You mix that together. And you drink this only drink that, and you'll the stomach is all feeling better, your energy is like. I know a lot of people say get people like this at the third. I'm personally not really a fan because these simple herbs or these simple concentrates will literally shake you back. I remember whenever you know the COVID 19 was around and everybody was like, oh, blah, blah, this at the third. The only thing I was drinking every day, and I still never caught it, the only thing I was drinking every day was my chlorophyll water and my distilled water. And I was, I was having my fruit juices here and there, but, like, really my elderberry syrup. 
And if you do stuff like that, oh, what's going on, Savi? Savi in the building. What's going on, girl? Um, and if you and if you stay consistent with that, that's going to be more than enough. On top, no, get me wrong. On top of a, a decent diet, a good diet. You know, I was just telling some of my other clients about um about like the blood type and how that stuff play, plays a role and plays a factor. But ultimately, which we overall is going to determine the uh, quality of your health. I, I think I just did a video. I think I just posted a video about that too, if I'm not mistaken. My bad. I did like 12 videos yesterday, so I don't. I have them on autopilot just to just to upload. So I be kind of lost sometimes with them. I got 12 more videos to make today. So yeah. California. Okay, we're going to California. Repeat the drinking for you just mentioned. So if you're talking about, you talking about for skin or you talking about for food poisoning? Which one? I can let you know. Constipation. If you constipated, I would say um, get some cascara sagrada. That's a herb. But make sure that you're drinking plenty of fruit juice. Plenty, plenty of fruit juice. The beautiful, the beautiful part about cascara sagrada is that, like, okay, it's a natural laxative. It helps the body move how it needs to. It helps you alleviate yourself. But if you're taking it, excuse me, if you're taking it and you're not actually Refortifying yourself and hydrating yourself, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna feel like nothing's actually coming out, because and nothing's actually gonna be coming out because your body's gonna be like, okay, well, you're telling us to use the bathroom, you're putting things that would make us um, use the bathroom, but you're not hydrating us on a cellular level. You know, it's rare, like especially when I'm watching my nieces and nephews. Like my my nephew came here super constipated one time. The only thing I gave him that day was blueberries, water and a little bit of agave in his water because he like a little sweet stuff sometimes. And you could see it. It's like, they say, oh, you ain't have bowel movement like a day and a half. His stomach's all tore up and blah, 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 blah. Within like two to three hours. And all I did was rub on his stomach, you know, while I was doing my paperwork, making sure like he getting his stomach massages. And he had a bowel movement and everything. It was one big solid one, but he was back to his normal self. You know, so sometimes the body just needs help, you know. Why don't you drink spring water? I do. I do drink spring water, but I'm a fan of distilled water. One of my friends, I'm talking about like almost, man, it's been, I haven't talked to him in a while. But uh, but he, you know, he got life going on, so life happens. But he actually put me onto distilled water like 10 years, he was like, till about 10 years ago when I finished for college. Because we was talking about micrometals and we started talking about like the best ways that like minerals and micrometals was the best source that it could bond with on a liquid level. To where well, a, a magnet and li liquid level to where it can get out your body on a day to day basis. We're not looking for a strong, hard detox, but we're looking for something to keep the body vigilant. You know, so me and him had this gotten to this talk about the constituents of uh, distilled water and then mixing it with chlorophyll. Well, really, it's something called chlor oxygen. That's a, that's the specific uh, brand we were talking about at the time. And ever since I've been on that, it's like my oxygen level is better. And, and I have I don't drink it every day now as much because I just eat way better. You know, I have a lot more knowledge, a lot more. I, I understand the powers of herbs and fruit juice and things of that nature. But like, when the summertime's gonna come back around, I'm definitely gonna be drinking a lot of it because I like to run. I like three to five miles a day, easy. Like I have to sweat, I have to run. That's been my thing. Like in high school, elementary, uh, middle school, cross country. You know, my mile time is four minutes. Like that's how much I love to run. So you know, it's just it's a and it's a natural booster. So I, it's not that I don't drink spring water because I mean this is this is spring water mixed with myself. Before. But I, I'm a fan, a bigger fan of distilled water. That's just me. Distilled water has gotten me through literally every time I've been sick, which is not a lot. But every cold, every whatever, I had distilled water and I was eating right with it. Boom, I shook back in. Like the longest I've ever been sick on distilled water is like if two to three days, if that. And I'm talking like dog sick. Cause when I, it takes a lot for me to get sick. So when something does break through, it has to be really strong. So I do be feeling like crap. I ain't gonna lie. But like I shook back in no time. A lot of people take the, the vegetable, um, too much background noise. Oh, let me, uh, it might, it might be my charger. Let me, uh, I can switch it up real quick. I'm glad y'all said something. But, um, and y'all let me know if it's still too, uh, if it's still too loud once I put all that stuff in here. I can, uh, I can take it out. I need, a, like I said, I need a new phone, man. Uh, post, post Brian is cheap. Well, I'm frugal. I ain't gonna say I'm cheap. I'm frugal. But, um, but yeah, that's what I just meant to say. Uh, so y'all let me know if this is I'm gonna hold it like this Y'all let me know if that's better If there's still any background noise or if it's worse or whatever Because I don't want you know 
What do you suggest as far as weight loss and vitamin imbalance? So that could be a plethora of things. But typically what I tell my clients is if you're not tracking, you're not making progress. It's one thing to eat, quote unquote, healthier. And I do the quotes because not everybody's definition of healthy is exactly the standard or the bar line for health. And what's acceptable to my body may not be acceptable to your body. So I'm going to say I'm just use those quotes. But as long as you're eating what's healthy for your body, you can be doing and that's fine. But if you're not tracking what you're eating and if you're not eating less than the amount of energy that you're expending on a day to day basis, you're not going to see any weight loss. You're not going to see any types of I ain't going to say any type of change, but you're not going to see the changes that you want to, because that's exactly what you need for the things to actually take place and move forward. Now, as far as vitamin imbalance, that has not I, I'm fully aware that the food that we're eating today, it's not the food that we had before. So. A lot of things that we're consuming doesn't have the same mineral deposits and it doesn't have the same mineral efficiency of the food and the vegetables and everything and the fruits from times past. So at first I wasn't a big fan of supplements and I'm honestly still not, but I grab, I make my own multivitamins via herbs, via fruit juice. I don't really like vegetable juice. Granted, I'm AB positive in my blood type. So me and vegetables don't, we, we get along, but I'm a fruit person. That's just me personally. But I find that when I'm in that rhythm and I'm in that flow, even with my clients, when they're in that flow, everybody's good. Everybody's shaking back. Everybody's doing what they got to do. So that would be my my uh, perspective of that. And also, if y'all can hear me better now and if the noise went away, let me know. And I see some people. You know what? I'm actually go live with some people. Y'all don't don't make me don't make me shame now. I've never went live with anybody other than uh, be on here before. So if I let you in, you know, don't don't act stupid. Hello, Greg. Oh, Greg. Can you? I'm trying to have from Louisiana. Let's see. I'm trying to see. Boy, y'all was doing some comments way better. Better. Okay, cool. I'm just getting to the point to where it's saying better. I was behind on so many comments. All right. Who is this person? Oh, these are some bots. I ain't let no bots up. It look like bot people. Oh, never mind. We gonna we gonna go back. We gonna go back to regular talking. Y'all don't even look like real people. But um. Let me see. Let me go back up to the other questions I had. What's going on? Bam, bam. What's going on? I'm just talking about the health stuff. I'm just talking about health stuff. So, Do you eat eggs? No, not really. Like, I was on and off with it. But I'm going to be honest with you. The only time I'm going to actually start really eating eggs again is whenever. Because my plan is to have my own farm. I want like right where I live right now. I am in the south, but it's like I don't have a lot of land. I have like I I have enough for my dogs to run around, you know, but it's like it's not the land that I want. Like I have all my seeds already frozen. I have my herb seeds frozen. I have my flowers and plants frozen. It's like whenever we move, I'm going to be uh actually starting my other garden because I did try to start my flowers and stuff the first time. But the chill came and it killed all of my stuff. So I will be starting my garden, my herbs and stuff like that. But. As of right now, unless it's eggs that from my chickens that I raise that, you know, that I'm letting free range be around. I'm not I'm not doing that. Like the reason I feel like and I'm going to get back to the other question, but I need to say this real quick. I feel like a lot of our problem these days when it comes down to the health crisis that's around the world is because a lot of like we don't grow our own foods anymore. We don't raise and butcher our own animals anymore. So it's like whether you choose to be pescatarian uh omnivore herbivore vegan uh fruitarian it doesn't matter to me it's like you're still underneath somebody else's now i ain't gonna say control but it's like if you're buying it from somebody else or if you're buying it from somebody that you know for a fact well you don't really know like that because out here in the south where i'm at luckily for us we have like fresh markers local farmers that i literally like i'm literally on side of a farm right now if i look out my window my neighbors have a like at least a good acre of farm and you know and i know what you know like unless it's stuff that i know and i'm watching you know what i'm saying it's like if it ain't mine I don't have that much control of it, of what pesticides went where, how it was grown, the soil, you know? So it's like, I'm not saying don't source. I'm not saying don't try to find something that's organic, USD, all that type of stuff. But me personally, I'm not going to be 100% content with what I'm eating, no matter how clean it is, until I've grown it, I've raised it, I've uh, made, did it myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's just the type of person that I am. I'm not saying to give up, hope on anything, but it's like, I'm not about to sit here and complain about X, Y, and Z, and I'm not growing it and are consuming the things that I've made. But that's just me. But no, that's my answer about the eggs. Are you from Louisiana too? What's happening? What part of Louisiana are you from? I'm from the south. I'm closer towards um, not really New Orleans, but I'm gonna say New Orleans. Not a lot of people know if I name the city. Not a lot of people gonna know where that's at. I'm like deep down in the south. 
Uh, let me wave at my friend. Let's see. So you can drink chlorophyll every day for sure, for sure. I remember I was when I first got on chlorophyll water with my. I had I used to have like a gallon of distilled water. That was the only one, like with every meal, even in my workouts. Like I would walk around all day and keep mind I'm skateboarding the class when I was in college and stuff like that. I have like what's that green stuff you be drinking? Chlorophyll. I do like probably like with a gallon I do like three full pulls of it, and then because I like my angle, I I like mine strong. I like you can't even see through it. That's how thick. That's how we're well, not thick, but that's how concentrated I had my water. And shoo, good. I ain't, I don't want to get too graphic, but I was, I was, or too you know explicit. But like, it's a lot more benefits than just healthy or get from it. I'll say that that thing re and then it also helps with the reoxygenation of the blood cells too. You know, so it's it's bro. <laughs> Sounds like a fan running. Uh, is it still is it still like that? I know these comments are kind of older before i put the headphones on so y'all let me know i've seen a lot of people saying perfect and way better now but okay this is before that never mind i'm scrolling down seeing some more comments hey what's happening what's going on what's going on flushing ideas ideas to jump off diet what you mean sebastian be a little bit more uh specific oh you gotta go you flicking people off and stuff like that that one thing i do believe is the block button i don't like that that's rude oh yeah you gotta go God bless you, but you gotta go. You flicking off people. That's not not that's not the energy we do up in here. Still living in are you living in meta version? What in the world? The video stopped. Is the video still going now? How true okay, it's back. Okay, that's weird. Why these comments are all over the place today? Let's see. Where in the South? I move Colombia. I am not that deep in the South. Oh no, I'm in. I'm still in America. Colombia. If you in Colombia, you way you you way further than I am. Nah. -uh. Totally understand that. Okay. Oh, y'all talking about when I was talking about the guard. My bad, y'all. The comments and stuff is up and down, so I'm trying to like scroll down and get to it. The air is toxic too. Diesel fuels, for example. I was just. Ha I'm so glad you talked about this. I just had a talk. Well, one of my friends, her name's Tierra. I had a talk with her today. We was talking about um, how, matter of fact, I'm going to let you, I think you the one that was actually, hold up. Let's see what we hitting on. Let's see. What you see, you seem like a, a very decent person. But yeah, we was having a talk about, uh, about. Uh... Put the light on one second. Mm -hmm. But yeah, while she's while she's dead, while I don't, while I'm, I go to my pronouns there while they're doing that, I'll talk about this. How you doing? Fine, thanks. How are I, you? I like I like what you're talking about. Okay, I, I was kind of iffy. The, now look, don't now look. The reason why I'm kind of iffy about people joining the live, like on TikTok, is different. I, on when I was used to be on TikTok heavy, you know, it was a lot easier to move people in and out. I'm not used to how the stuff move on Instagram, but the audience is a little different on Instagram, especially with the DMs and stuff. So like. Certain pages, like with certain usernames, they're typically yeah. bots. And, you know, I did assume you was a bot, but I saw the comment, okay, this is a real person. But I'm just very precautious about that stuff. But to put, to answer, better, the, better to be, talk about the, be. uh, right, to answer the question, what well, to talk about what you had talked about before, I was literally just talking to my friend about that today about, I'm not saying that us as humans, we don't, we don't play in the role of polluting the area. But if we really want to get down to the truth about it, I feel as though that's not our responsibility because we're we're the consumers, right? So yes, we can recycle. Yes, we can choose wisely. Is that in the third? But why aren't the people that's making the products making them biodegradable? They can use hemp. They can use bamboo. Like there's places out here, certain restaurants where I eat at. You know, the reason why we go there is because everything that you're eating from is biodegradable. You know what I'm saying? So it's like mm -hmm. as opposed to not saying, like I said, once again, not saying that the diesel fuels and everything is not playing a role. But I feel as though, prime example, all the people that's making, um, they have like the, the water-based cars, the hydrogen-based cars, things that's like, that's very eco-friendly. Those people end up going missing because I'm going to watch what I'm saying on here. They end up going missing mm -hmm. or like it's situations to where anything that's, that's for the advancement of our society in a, in a more natural way, it doesn't happen. All those people end up going somewhere. So I don't feel like that's our part as consumers 100 yeah, percent but i, I, I don't do. think so i don't think right so. i think it's because the people who uh we, we are all the same we live all on the same planet so 
so we have all to we have all our part because mm -hmm. they're producing the cars or the whatever but we are buying it right. so so i think it's it's in our hand too mm -hmm. but what i wanted to say i live in a really big crowded city mm -hmm. so it's the air the ground everything everything is toxic so even if you say you want to grow yourself because of the pesticides and stuff, but mm -hmm. it will not help you because it's so dirty all around us. So it's see, and that's why I'm here for big purifiers. Like prime example, the area that I, like luckily the area that I live in is more rural. You know, it's like we have more. I'm in southern Louisiana, so it's mostly everything is agriculture down here. Mm -hmm. That's not. I don't live in the big city. You know, I don't live in sky towers and all that. You don't see that out here. You know, but I feel as though. And it is just my opinion. I feel as though the same energy that they put behind all the tech and everything that they're doing out there, there's different plants, herbs, and trees that are actually really good for air purification. So mm -hmm. if they not not granted that a lot, we talking about a system that's been going on before we was born. So like, there's a lot that will that literally goes into the infrastructure of the environment that makes things a lot more toxic than before. Because the reason why I was talking about earlier about um distilled water and things of that nature like i would drink that or i would get like a dis uh, distillation system integrated inside of my house when i can afford yeah, it. i need that i need that because yeah. like it's you'll see it like prime example have you ever heard of blue zones before no okay so blue zones are essentially the areas where not only do those people live the longest but whenever they do the st when they did the study on like their geographical area and stuff like that mm -hmm. those people literally grow everything themselves like they keep okay. the and it's it's like it's high-end cities on some areas too but everything is sourced organically everything is biodegradable and like on, the only thing that really kind of needs to have i guess you could say but uh, i don't want to say toxic metals but like the essential metals for so like refortify the city those things are more so in the infrastructure of the area but even down to like only the the the, the living spaces well selective living spaces in the transportation is the only quote-unquote toxic things about the city so excuse me when you have time go look at blue zones that i, I feel like it's going to be have so to beneficial it sounds interesting i'm really new to all this subjects because i just started to ch change what i eat and started to do sports because of health issues so i'm really new and i have to learn a lot mm -hmm. but what i understand so far is whatever i eat i will never get the vitamins i need so i will always have to take supplements yeah. Because whatever I eat, it comes from from a fabric. Not mm -hmm. it, it never uh, the tomato you are eating. It never saw the sun, so mm -hmm. there can be no vi vitamin D, for example. Right. And reason, and that's the reasons why I'm really big on not necessarily supplements, but more so herbs. Because like the beautiful part is we have we're living in the day and age now to where you're right. Some of the local areas that people live in, it's not grown outside. It's not grown in decent areas. But the beautiful part about the body, the human body, is that it's electric. You know, so herbs, when you break it down to its most basic carbon constituents and how it reacts inside the body, it's an electrifier of the body. So we may not be, you're right, and I just talked about that earlier, we may not be getting all of what we need from said fruits, whether they be organic or not. But at the same time, a lot of things that haven't been necessarily tampered with yet and that we can still actually obtain heirloom seeds from to grow our own is herbs. Mm -hmm. So once you start mixing as good of a diet as you can consume, as good of a diet as you can get you, because let's be honest, organic things these days are expensive. When you go get you a doggone uh, burger or whatever from wherever, it's like a dollar, two dollars to get that, you know, so. And when so, they test it, it's still not, it's still no difference. Exactly. It's still no difference. Exactly. So what my point is, is that we that's just one that's just the times that we living in unless you are able to relocate that's just the times and conditions that we're living in especially in this capitalistic society that we live in but i am i am a, i am not gonna lie to you i'm an optimist and i'm one of those people who believe that you know like it may not be now but as long as we are all fighting for the same thing and are trying to relocate to the areas or start our own areas because the reason why a lot of these things are still toxic and like a lot of these areas aren't as beneficial like a lot of people don't understand it, but there's so much real estate, just air, like greenery, that's actually available. They like to say that, oh, well, we're overcrowded, we're overpopulated, blah, 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 blah. But most structures and most societies are built in clusters. So once you start seeing the people like us that live more so on the, out, the rural areas, on the outsides, and then whenever I plan on moving, I'm moving to another area that has more land, but I'm not trying to move inside the city. 
you know, I'm trying to, I'm going to have my own irrigation system. I'm going to make my, collect my own stuff, you know, to where like we can do like that. But I feel as though as society, you know, not only do they just feed us certain type of things for us to, to consume on a day-to-day basis, but we're so far removed from individuality and critical thinking skills. So I feel as though that has a bigger role to play in the day-to-day advancement of yeah, because society. because we have no options. You don't have options. You go to the supermarket mm-hmm. and that's it. For now. For now. I will say that for mm-hmm. now. Because we can... That, that is what it's you're saying is true. It's yeah, exactly. starting to change. It's starting to change. Exactly. Because what you're saying And is I'm, true. I'm really late to this. I'm 30. Until now, I only ate shit. <laughs> but uh, I regret it. Mm-hmm. I regret it because my body, I have a lot of problems. Not major, nothing major, only mm-hmm. small stuff. But uh, there are so many things that I believe it's because how I eat, how I sleep, what I did it was mm-hmm. not, not helpful. But it's never, it's never too late. I, I always say that I have a client. She's, let me see. I just, I got my client tracker right here. She's 50, she's 54. And this is her first time really getting into like, she's one of my clients. Uh, she's in my wellness weight loss program. And, like, she initially came to me for – and that's, that's what I love about what I do. Like, they come to, to me for, like, weight loss, but I oftentimes tell them, you come in, you're coming to me to lose weight, but let's tackle your wellness. Because if you're mm-hmm. well, you know, you can lose weight a lot better. So, and she lives in kind of a similar area but that you live in. This is exactly the problem why I'm starting so late. Because every time I tried it or whatever I looked into, it was always about losing weight. And I have the opposite problem. I'm trying to get weight. Mm. Uh, so that's why I always when I wanted to or it was too difficult you need to be a gymnast mm-hmm. gymnast to understand so here's what my is question here's my question because I used to have that problem like years I was always the skinny kid I was always the smaller person I'm six feet tall so I'm naturally lean you know and I'm, mm-hmm. I run a lot but I have figured out how to in a healthy manner gain weight so my question to you is have you ever done any type of caloric or macro uh, charting before or like tracking no no so never, what was what was easy. your what was your method of gaining weight? What did you do? Nothing, nothing. I I just gained two kilos, uh, mm-hmm. and I did it with leading, uh, eating a lot. I eat really since two months or something. For two months, I eat five times, six times a day, nonstop, mm-hmm. and that's how I do it. But I eat a lot of um, green stuff, mm-hmm. raw green stuff, and that helps me getting weight. So if I eat pizza mm-hmm. and uh, burger and everything, I don't get weight with it. I mm-hmm. get weight with the green stuff. I don't know how it's worked, well, but this is the way it works for me. And it was always like that. Okay, so let me let me explain something. I love oh, I love where this is going. Okay, so let me explain something to you. Because oftentimes, I don't know if you guys, if you guys are, well, obviously we're on Instagram right now. Y'all go look up Teray Washington. Teray Washington is him and Raw Murabi. There are two people that are purely plant-based and they specialize in weight gain and things of that nature. Granted, they're more bodybuilders, but like you, you can see the gain that they have. The reason why your body is doing that, I'm one of those people who, be, I'm not going to say I don't believe in protein. Protein is obviously a thing. It's obviously not vocabulary. It's obviously a terminology. But if you focus more so on the building blocks, the amino acids of things, you look at fruits as the detoxifiers of the body and you start mm-hmm. looking at vegetables as the builders of the body, you'll see And that's see why how... I'm saying I first have to study chemie mm-hmm. to, to understand it. It's too difficult for normal people. Just, just message me. I got you. That's what, that's what I'm on here for. Just, like, my thing is I like, to, I like to help people with stuff like that. That's my program. That's what I do. Even if you don't want to uh, sign up for my program, just I always check my messages. You know, so like it may not – I may not message you the same day because a lot of people in there, but you will get a reply. And what, what I'm getting at, at my point is, is like once – the body is able to actually, um, okay, let's, let's say you take the time period to kind of cleanse a, a little bit, right? So you start cleansing the body, cleansing the body, cleansing the body, and then you actually get on, okay, I'm going to eat more veg- vegetables. I'm going to eat more, dis- maybe you're into grains and stuff, whatever it requires for your blood type, X, Y, and Z, all that type of stuff. You're, as- you're actually are going to see a lot more of the progress of the, the weight gain that you need, especially if you add resistance to that because – those are actually the things that our bodies can accept and use on a bigger basis. Not saying that people, because I know there's people in here that eat meat and they, you know, well, all I know is meat about my body, blah, blah. I get that. And that's maybe that's all you get. You. That's understandable. You can do it like that too. But what I'm saying is it's not impossible for your body to gain weight on fruits and vegetables because vegetables don't even digest the same as fruits. Vegetables require. I gained two kilos 
only with vegetables. Yeah. And before that, I I really I can eat a lot. I'm really skinny, but I can eat a lot. I eat burgers, pizzas, everything, but mm-hmm. I didn't get weight. But now, just with raw broccoli. Yes, and, and stuff leafy like greens. That, Stick with the leafy greens. Get, You'll never lose. I got two kilos, two and a half kilos in two months, and this is a lot for me. Mm-hmm. Let me so see if I could that, if I, I could never... show you mine. Hold up, I'm gonna have to pull it up because I don't know if I can do it on. I I don't. I'm still not used to, to Instagram yet. I want to show. I want to show like my like I used to be 135. I used to be so small because like the very thing that you're saying is what I did to get myself together. I'm trying to find it because I normally have it on my phone. But you are 100. You are 110 percent right. And like, I was really too skinny. That's why I'm saying it was it was becoming a health issue. And that's mm-hmm. why since since summer, so six months, six six month almost, mm-hmm. I tried a lot of things, changed a lot of things. So, so you say you've been doing it for six months, you said? Yes, for six months. Keep it. It started it six months ago, but uh, three uh, three months, definitely, I changed it constantly and figured it out and everything for three months. Okay, I found a video. So let me show you the same thing that you're saying. Can Hold up. Can you guys see this? Can you guys see the screen? Mm-hmm. All right, watch this. Yes, I used to be 140. I was stuck at 145. And then when I this and that was me when I switched to so more vegetables, more fruits. I had gained so much muscle. Now, granted, I was lifting weights. So I made I turned my uh, shed into like a gym and stuff like that. And I did everything I had to do. But you, I just love showing people proof. And I love that you're actually on here talking about that because oftentimes when I talk about stuff like that, people look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like y'all don't understand the way that stuff breaks down within the body. It will literally build you on the cellular level. Just because, now granted, some people don't see, the, a lot of people actually don't see the same results that we see because they're full of gunk. They haven't cleaned their system out yet. Or maybe, or maybe it's ready, because of the it. blood type or everyone has a different that too. That too. system. I'm real, I'm real big because that other too. people, they lose weight with vegetables. There yes. are people who lose weight. For me, it's yes. not like that. And I tried it 10 years ago or something. I wanted to lose weight. And that's mm-hmm. why I eat more vegetables. And I gained weight at that mm-hmm. time also. So... 10 years later, same, same thing. Yeah, and I, and I know it, it took you a little while. I know, I know you said you're 30. You don't even look close to 30. But I know you said uh, you got to 30, and then, like, now you still, you figured it out. But I feel like everything happens for a reason. So you take that same – because, like, it sounds like you have a lot of passion behind it right now. It's like, oh, I wish I would have had it before. And that's how I oftentimes feel about, like, my journey. Like, I've been doing this for 10 years, but I didn't do it until after I finished college. You know, so I would... Now I was consistent. Before, like I said, I always wanted to do it. I always looked into it, but it was too difficult for me. But now I did it really const- consistently three months, and I see so many changes. My mm-hmm. hormones changed. I had a Especially hormone that. imbalance. Not a big thing, really small imbalance, but I had a hormone imbalance. It's completely gone. Mm-hmm. Other things, womanly things with the period and stuff. It's mm-hmm. completely, it's the other game. In three months, is a completely other thing. You will see a difference. And that, and that's the beauty of it. Like a lot of people are like, well, I can't do this because that, I can't eat all of these, these uh, fruits because that's too much sugar. I was like, that's not the same type of sugars. I literally- And that's why I was so scared. I was too skinny and I was mm-hmm. um, so scared to lose one more kilo. Okay, I was really mm-hmm. scared of it. So when everyone said, eat vegetables, eat this, that, I was scared that I will lose weight, but mm. I was lucky that I gained weight with it. And mm-hmm. it helped my body with a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like I said, if you ever need any type of information, if you ever need any type of tips, just, just message me. I got you. Like, that's, mm-hmm. that's, what I, that's what I do. You know, like if, I'm, if I'm not too busy, I'll find time. You know, like if I don't get to you the same day, I'll probably get to you the next day. But like, oftentimes I don't just be like, oh, well, do this, do that. Like you can, all the people that have asked me questions in my DMs, they know. I'm going to give you an answer, but I'm also going to say, hey, go get this book. Hey, go do that. Like a lot of people ask me, where you get this from? And I'd be like, okay, have y'all read books like this? Have y'all read the African? Like I have so many books that I read on a day-to-day basis, whether it be digital or physical, but it's like, I've been doing this for a while. And it's very, I'm not going to lie to you. In this day and age, it's very controversial because you have so many people, especially like with the keto diet yeah. being at all time high and all type of stuff. I'm not a fan of that. That's why always when I wanted to look into it, one guy says eat nuts. The other one says no, nuts are forbidden. The other one says no, nuts are whatever. So it was so crazy. I didn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. But I don't go on that. Uh, I, I just go to the supermarket and I just take the fresh things. I only buy the fresh things. So 
and and I figured it out that way. I didn't say, okay, I have to eat more uh, broccoli or something. Mm -hmm. I just went to the supermarket and looked what is regional, what is biological, what is fresh, what didn't came from the other side of the con of the world. Mm -hmm. You do you Because did it the right I'm way. That into whatever intuition you had that led you to do that, it was it was spot on. And and like I said. Cause I want I want to wrap it up a little bit because I don't know if anybody else want to come on. I, I don't want to you know yeah, not ask anybody yeah, else's course, questions, but course. definitely, definitely, like keep following your gut, keep following your spirit because I feel as though nothing happens for no reason. You know, it's like thank you so much for your page. Oh, that's in, anytime, bro. Like this, I've been doing this for a while, but I want to leave you. If I can leave you with anything, I just want to leave you with the fact of like you know everybody has a purpose. Like whether like the conversation that we that we're having right now, whoever's in here watching or whoever was in here for a moment, they were supposed to hear that. Because these type of conversations spark intriguement. They spark curiosity. And these people need to go and be like, hey, well, what y'all was talking about? Hey, the book, how about this, that, and the third? So I want to thank you for your time. And I want to thank you for being so inquisitive about stuff like this because this is why I do this. This is exactly why I like coming on here and talking because it's like, I remember whenever I first started, like years ago. Starting you know? is difficult, but when you see the benefits, it gets easy with time. Mm-hmm. But once again, thank you for your time. I want to get to some of these other questions. And like I said, any questions that you have, slide in my DMs. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Adios. Y'all give, give up a, a nice heart or hand round of applause because that, that's the, these are the conversations that I love. These are the conversations that I love. Somebody put, bro, what? It's uh, I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I gotta scroll back up. We was talking for a while. I want to make sure I didn't miss too many questions. But I'm glad y'all um, I'm glad y'all could hear better too. I need a y'all. I'm sorry. I just need a new phone. Like I know everybody was saying like it sounded like static or it was in the background. That's how my phone sounds without my headphones in it. And that's why y'all always see me. You know, like it's crazy. But I'm so frugal, y'all. I'd rather spend money on fruits and plants and my animals that I have rather than new technology. <laughs> y'all pray for me. I'm just not. I will ride a phone. I will ride anything until it breaks all the way down. Okay, you got one more slick comment to make and you can block. I don't know who this is, but you are annoying. Okay, I got to scroll back up a little bit more. Okay, not too many questions. Good. My bad, y'all. Give me a second. I'm scrolling. I want to make sure I'm not uh, I'm not missing out on any questions. So I'm to come. Okay, yeah, I answered all. All right, cool. I didn't miss too much of nothing. We answered a lot of these already. Mm, cool. Yeah, you going. That person is blocked. And remove. Yeah, there you go. Talk about some relax. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't I don't I'm not a big fan of people like coming up in here and trying to run stuff. Not to say that I'm not gonna take people's constructive criticism, but people are tripping. I will, a lot of herbs. I was healthy, I was exercising, I fell down, broke my back and left me. God dang. Have have had to have surgery, but have back pain. I need herbal to soothe the pain. Uh, help. I eat broccoli, spinach, every B R U W. Um, I'm gonna message you real quick because I can't really understand everything that you're saying, and I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. But I'm gonna message. I'm gonna take a screenshot because it's not letting me directly message you right now. But yeah, we could definitely have a conversation about that because there's so many there's so many different ways. There's so many different things that uh that we can, that can go into that. I'm not seeing too many more. Oh yeah, if y'all don't have any more questions, we're gonna shut it down. But um, yeah, y'all y'all show her some love, cause that was a that was a nice conversation. Sugar is what I've seen. Somebody just put sugar is what it, what you talking about? Sugars is what? But if we since we're on that topic, uh, I had I don't you know I don't think I did a video on that yet. I need to do a video on that. But there's a difference. There's a major difference. Excuse me between what's up, Khan? There's a major difference between um, 
monosaccharides and disaccharides, right? So whenever it comes down to like everybody, like, well, fruits and fruit sugar is not really the best for you and it's not blah, 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 blah. The reason why I disagree with that is because we have what's called monosaccharides, which are the simple sugars, and we have poly or disaccharides, which are the bad sugars. So like, just like the engine in your car needs a carbon-based fuel to run, your body, so does your physical body. You know, so it's like the main constituents your body needs to function are amino acids, like her and I was talking about earlier. You got the fatty acids and sugars. But however, it's, it's sugars mixed with oxygen that your body requires to run. You know, so, so to understand sugars better, I oftentimes tell people, okay, if you, you want to consume monosaccharides, which are the simple sugars, and not the polydisaccharides. So monosaccharides are simple or single are simple sugar. So you got like your glucose, fructose, um, your galactose, like the, the real carbs, the simple sugars can't be broken out any more than what they are. But whenever you start talking about polyodisaccharides, that's your starches, that's your complex sugars consisting of several glucose fructose bonds, depending upon the type of starch or the carbohydrate. And that requires more cortisol level from your adrenal glands. So when we start getting into like adenosine triphosphates and all that type of stuff, I oftentimes tell people you'll get, the acidosis, you'll get the, the damage of the pancreas, you'll get the exhaustion of the bodies and the adrenal glands whenever you're drinking sodas, you're having all this candy, and you're eating all of this gunk as opposed to, you know, well, I'm doing a fruit cleanse and I'm doing a fruit juice cleanse. Like prime example, fruit juice. If you think fruits are good, fruit juice is better. If you got stomach issues, lung issues, especially people that like smoke and people that like drink a lot of alcohol, y'all need to be drinking the most fruit juice because like that's going to get, or prime example, prime, prime example, I have clients that have real bad asthma or they smoke a lot. I don't know if y'all familiar with mullein, M-U-L-L-E-I-N. It's a herb. It's good with the bronchial tubes. It helps remove all that excess tar and mucus. But if you, if you link that and sync that with a lot of fruit juice, you'll be good. You'll be really, really, really good. Like, prime example, I'm AB positive. So to kickstart my digestive system, every morning I start my day off with grapefruit juice. And when I do that, I absorb better. My bowel movements are better. My energy is better. My mood is better. But the days that I don't do it, if I don't start my day for like teas or waters, it's going to be a bad day. But that's just my hydrochloric, my stomach hydrochloric acid levels. Like we have the lowest amount. We have, we have the rarest type of blood. But as opposed to people that have old blood, y'all got the doggone stomachs of a shark. Y'all can eat a doggone license plate and nothing happen to y'all. Like that's the, bro. All my friends are like, well, you don't eat this. You come over here, you don't eat that. You don't blah, blah, blah. I can't. I can't. I'm a living witness that I cannot. You know, like, because even when I was in college and I was eating horrible, you know, like I was finding my way through all of this type of stuff. And I was just running myself through the ground. Like, I would have band practice. I'd go work out. I'd be skateboarding everywhere and, like, still feeling like garbage. But the moment I start eating right and figuring all this stuff out, my body starts feeling 10 times better. You know, so I don't care what nobody says, especially with the science to back it up. I'm not saying nothing y'all can't go look at. I'm not saying nothing y'all can't go Google. I'm not saying nothing y'all can't find a video about. Just like y'all can find out the new Teflor bag, Beyonce album, doggone car y'all want. I'll go look at this. Put that same energy into, into sourcing this type of stuff. When you make your tea, do you measure your herbs? I do. I measure them in parts, though. So the tea that I've been on lately, um, once again, I may be positive. So I, I kind of base my herbs around my blood type. Um, Hawthorne berry. Panex ginseng. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, Panex ginseng. I'm about to switch to Siberian ginseng. Panex ginseng. Uh, I have a herbal. I forgot what I mixed in there months ago, but like it's a little herbal blend that I made, and I count all of those as one part, and I put them in like the little, the little um, tea bag sack things. They all have their own little separation, which reminds me I need to go get some more Hawthorne berries today because I ran out yesterday after making my last tea. But I do, if I'm really feeling groggy, like when, since it's gotten cold, because I don't do well with cold, I do two parts Hawthorne berry. I do one part pan ginseng, or if I really need the energy, two parts pan ginseng. And then my herbal vitality mix that I made, I do like one of that. And then I might sprinkle some burdock root in there. But other than that, not really. I don't, uh, I measure it, but I don't measure it, if that makes sense. It's like, I know what works for me. And I, I use my teaspoons. Don't remember, I use my teaspoons. But like you, after a while, you eye it, and you kind of already know. If you, if you drink tea as much as I do, which is every day, two, three times a day, you know, you know what the measurements are. But I would say if you're not somebody that measures, go off with the, with the tea bag and them says, but I typically tell people like your tea bag as opposed to your teaspoon is roughly the same, but make a, make a formulated focus tea. So if you're somebody that struggles with, um, let's say high blood pressure or, um, diabetes, right. You want to, you want to put some bilberry, probably two parts bilberry in there. You want to put some, uh, dandelion, one part dandelion root, one part milk thistle, 
Uh, you want to put um, one part uh, sarsaparilla and one part ginger, and you'll be good. Or some people that struggle with uh, blood pressure, your circulation is poor. You need to have a pinch of cayenne and everything. You know, the first thing you should drink in the morning is some distilled or spring water with a pinch of cayenne. Stir it up real nice, bow, and you'll be good. Like, that'll probably be the best thing for you to do. But like I said, to each his own. Everything that I do is formulated. Everything that I do is based off of what I need. It's like, even when it comes out to my clients, if you're trying to lose weight, but you have poor kidneys or you have poor that in the third, we're going to focus on the kidneys. But I'm going to make an adrenal mix for you. But I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, well, yeah, go take some eye, go get you some eyebright mullion and then some uh, uh, some butcher's broom tea when in all actuality, you need every bit of kidney filtration to going on, every bit of fruit juice going on to get to make that tea formula work as best as it can, you know, but to each his own, to each his own. I'm not seeing too many more questions. I'm about to call it a day if that's it, y'all. I make mine in a coffee pot. I get more. I use the, um, I have, I have two, see, I have a problem. I got this big, it's like a, it's literally a gallon. I have like this gallon size tea kettle. And then I have my, uh, my glass one. That's probably like, how many, let me see. It's about probably like 40 something ounces. I want to say about two, two, three pints somewhere around there. But and I typically make it in there because I don't feel like making like if I'm making like the gallon, that's whenever I make my teas for my grandmother when I'm bringing it over there to her. But um, yeah, I'm a big fan of collecting teapots. I'm not even gonna lie to you because like it's just something about now if I need to make it on the stove, I make it on the stove. But it's just something about like the the process of bringing over. Because like here's how I do it: I'll take my tea, I'll uh with well, my my herbs. I'll they have like the little the little um metal net thing to where it doesn't get through in the water or whatever. I'll put it in there. I'll bring the water to a boil. And as soon as it gets to a ball, I put the heat as low as I can get it while still keeping it hot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I let it simmer. And like the last concoction I made, I let it simmer for like 12 hours. That stuff was so bitter, but it was so good. Because y'all, if y'all make tea, y'all already know the darker it gets, the more potent it gets. Oh, my God. That tea, I haven't made tea that well ever in my life. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I haven't made tea like that ever in my life. So if y'all want that strong stuff. Put your equal parts in there if need be. Steep it for a while. You'll be good. You'll be real, real, real good. And the sweetness that I use is either agave nectar or honey. Or I'm going to say local honey because that's just me. I don't like syrup and all the other type of stuff. I don't put that in there. Um, she put wild. That's why you're glowing. <laughs> yeah, I drink a lot of tea, bro. A lot of tea. Um, Let's see. She said, thank you. I don't know what question I, ask, I answered, but you're welcome. Any suggestions for arthritis? I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell my mama because she um she's uh she doesn't have arthritis but like she's developing carpal tunnel a little bit and I believe it's going to waste. I believe she's been I, I literally went and make tea and bring tea to her. So I think she's been on it. It seemed like it's been getting better. But a lot of ginger, a lot of turmeric, a lot of dandelion root, a lot of um milk thistle. So ginger, turmeric, dandelion root, milk thistle. You, and there, and if you don't want to do the teas, you can do the capsules. You can do the capsules too. There, you can find them in it. I mean, they're especially dandelion root milk thistle. Nature's Way has a really good brand. Uh, Star Wars Botanicals has a really good brand too. The Nile brand, I, I never saw them with anybody. Has some pretty decent ones. But you mix that with. And, but also, I will say that too. One thing I've noticed with a lot of my clients is the ones that do have arthritis or developing carpal tunnel things of that nature, they have high levels of sugar intake. Either they they love them some coffee, cappuccino, all that type of stuff. They like sodas, root beers, and stuff like that. And they like a, they, they season their food very heavily. So I'm not saying that's what you do. But if that's what you're doing, I would say cut back and start, eat, <clears throat> excuse me, start eating more uh, leafy greens. This is why I talked for a long time. Start eating more leafy greens. You know, start hydrating yourself more. Start drinking a lot more tea, the, uh, the stuff I just told you to do. And um, you, you should be fine. But like a lot of high volume meats and High volume salts and all that type of stuff and all sugars and all of that. You asking for it. You are asking for it. Let's see. Thank you. I missed the question. Is it a herb for vitamin D? Most herbs actually do pretty well with vitamin D, honestly. But start doing some uh, burdock root, sarsaparilla, hawthorn berry. Uh, you could do bur uh, 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 bilberry. You can do... um. Oh, I'm looking at it. I can't. I'm looking at it, but I don't. Uh, Siberian ginseng. You can do panic ginseng. You can do um, 
What's another one? What's another one? What's another one? What's another one? I can't think of it. I'm looking at that one too. I can't think of it. But that, most herbs would be pretty good for you, honestly. I mix green and black. You think that's a good idea? Green, green and black. What? Green tea and black tea? What you What you talking about? Any suggestions? Knee inflammation from sports? Only one knee. Start. Okay, so you can do tibia raises. So you can start like putting your back against the wall, and putting your feet a little bit out in front of you. Heels touching together. Well, not heels, but feet touching together. And try to raise your toes as high as possible. Only while only using your feet, that can strengthen the tibia to take that stress off the knees. Start walking backwards a lot more, and then, and once you get to that part. Start doing weighted uh, walks backwards, like you put like a little sleigh or like tie, do it my way if you can't afford it, because I sure can't afford no sleigh right now. I get my dumbbells, I got buku dumbbells, I get my uh my battle ropes, I tie them to it, and I just walk backwards. So I get my plates out of my uh shed, I tie it to it, and I walk backwards. You will see a tremendous difference. Oh, and glute bridges. Excuse me, you will see a tremendous difference in your knees, because I had developed runner's knees at a point. I've been running, God, I've been running track and, and cross country since... Oh God, since um and I'm about to be 30. I've been running that since the fourth, fifth grade, I want to say. So between I was doing track in one year, I would do track, cross country, basketball, soccer, and band. And luckily for me, in band, I was in drumline. So a lot of the movements is on your toes. You're doing lateral motions or front to back motions. So that would help. And I did I did band from elementary all the way to college. So that helped. But when it comes out to knees in general, oh yeah, you gotta you gotta take care of them babies. Uh thank you so much. Anytime, anytime, no problem. What kind of advice can you give me to cure type two diabetes? Same thing I was talking about earlier. More monosaccharides and less poly and disaccharides. Honestly, go on a fruit juice cleanse, cold press. Do it for about a week or two, to give your pancreas because so, whenever you're drinking it the fruits rather than eating it, it's a totally different digestive process. It hits the blood totally differently. So do a cleanse like that. Get on some bilberry. Uh, and that's the only herb I'm going to suggest, too. Get on some bilberry. Bilberry does wonders for the pancreas. So get on some bilberry. Do a fruit juice cleanse, and then you'll be good. And also watch what you're eating. Diabetes is nothing more. I ain't going to say nothing more. Diabetes is a sign of or a factoring result of, I got to watch my words, of your pancreas, kidneys, and adrenal glands saying, we're tired. You're filling this up with stuff that we having the hardest time breaking down and our cortisol levels from the adrenal glands is high. We need a break. And that's essentially what you would do. Thank you so much, DC. Uh, let's see. I hope Kahan stop in here. I got some good questions, bro. I got some really, really good questions. I should go live on TikTok too. I should. I haven't. I haven't been on TikTok. I haven't really been giving TikTok love since I left. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I made it to like a hundred. I think I'm at like 175,000 followers on there. But the audience on TikTok is so toxic. It's so demonic. Like, and I hate to use such strong words, but I have yet to see people. And it's such a twisted platform. It's like, I get people get the latest trends and all that stuff from there. But, like, I will post videos about, like, a whip, like parasite awareness, you know, like, um, cancer awareness and, like, the what we feel holistically are the true causes of it and stuff like that. And they would, they would block my stuff. They would filter my stuff. The people that would come to my page would be on some hater stuff and, like, just cursing holistic medicine. And I'd be like, you know what? I'm grateful for the people that do follow me. But, and, and I still, like, I don't, I'm not on it as much, but I still post for the people that was genuinely there to be on there. But I even told him every time I go live on TikTok, I'm like, y'all come to Instagram. Because that's the only place where I can actually be safe. I have more control and I can say more of what I want to say. Now, granted, if I had the money and if I could make my own platform, I would, but I'm not a billionaire. I don't have enough money or a millionaire. I don't have enough money to get, and then it takes so much for society to move on to that anyway. But anyways, Instagram is, is my new home right now. So it is what it is. But TikTok is just, it's not, it's not, nah, bro, it's not, it's not for me. It's not my thing. But yeah, y'all, if you're talking about like diabetes and stuff like that, that's essentially um that's essentially how you would do it. Cuz I just I just want people to understand that like if you want superior deep tissue detoxification, that stuff only takes place with fruit and water, water fasting. Vegetables because of their lower energetic and antioxidant like astringent properties, it's only going to get you so far. Cuz everybody be like you talk about fruits a lot, you talk about fruit juice a lot, you talk about this that a lot is 
vegetables, I, I view vegetables as the builders. I view fruits as the, to the detoxifiers. Uh, Dr. Robert Morris, he cured his cancer. Oh, I said the cure, where you can't say it on here. He helped his cancer patient in like 56 days on an all grape diet between eating grapes and drinking grape juice because drink grapes are extremely astringent. And like he had them on that for a while. They shook back. Cancer gone. All the, 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 what, what, what were he had used? The fermented, uh, I forgot what was going on with the, 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 the digestive system. Something had going on. And all that stuff was gone. You know, and it's like I've seen study after study after study, case after case. All y'all go look up Dr. Laila Africa, go look up Dr. Melanie Stevens, go look up Dr. Robert Morris. I'm pretty sure y'all already know who Yaki Awakening is. Go look up uh Ginger the Clue. Go look up um y'all already know who Dr. Sabi is. Like you you will find it. Uh what's that dude name? Doctor uh he's a chef though. Doctor uh, he's in he's in the Bahamas or Jamaica. Us uh, Ashton uh, I forgot, but he's known as like the Sunshine Chef. And like Every, all of them, like they've all had clients like that, and I'm just sitting here like, I'm not gonna go against the actual, and it's even been backed up via science. Like it's all been backed up, y'all. So when y'all, when people want to say, oh y'all radical and y'all blah 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 blah, it's like I'm going off of what I've learned. Like go get the Bartram's. Like I kid y'all not, I'll be flashing this book everywhere. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna gatekeep no information from y'all. Go get up the, go get the Herbal Medicine Bartram's Encyclopedia. That stuff. Like I didn't, and I, and you know what I don't like. Now, granted, it's long, y'all. It's a long book. It's a really, really long book. The digital copy is like fifteen hundred pages, but it's worth the read, y'all. It's worth the knowledge is truly power. I can't even begin to tell you how many friends and family members I sent this book to, bought this book for, and they still calling me and asking me questions about stuff that's in the book. Like, I know it goes against what y'all have been doing for the past twenty, thirty, forty, fifty plus years. I know it's hard to break those habits. I know, y'all. Like. You don't want to give up certain this, that, and the third. But it's not good for you. And even if you can't give it up all the way, moderation. You know, but do what's going to work for your body. Do what's going to work for you. Like, at the end of the day, do you really want to grow old and not be able to enjoy life? What's the point of us working our behinds off right now, going through hell and high water to financially be stable, survive, blah, 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 then you get to a point to where you can't work. You get to a point to where you can't party X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you're just going to be old and immobile and sedentary? My grandmother is in her late 70s, I want to say, and she can walk with me. Like, she, she walk, like she's a walker. She can move. But my grandmother, she doesn't eat the best. But, you know, I'm on her with her herbs. I'm on her with her teas. I'm on her about her food. And she doesn't listen all the time. But the time that she do listen, she shakes back. And then she's piece by piece. She's absorbing it. You know what I'm saying? And I want to see her get to her 80s and 90s and still be as vigilant as she is right now. My grandfather's going about to be in his 90s. Like, he, he, he's still driving. He's still cooking. He's still moving around. He cleans up the house. He can still shoot. Like, he's still, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I pray that over all of the people that I touch. That's why I don't hold nothing from y'all. That's why I don't gatekeep nothing from y'all. Because it's like the same information that I took the time to study the past 10 years of my life. What's, what's me giving y'all one book? out of the hundreds I've read and had to use thus far that I still use to this day. I'm not the one making the answers. I'm going to get the answers. I'm going to study the answers. I'm going to make it make sense. And then I'm going to give it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Ava! Ava! My friend Ava in the building, y'all. Y'all, Ava, okay, I'm going to pause. Y'all got it. Y'all have to support Ava. Ava is one of the best life coaches slash people in Louisiana. Her name, she just came in here. It's AV underscore amazing. Y'all, go follow that woman. Go go sign up. Whatever she offering right now, go do it. Ava, I kid y'all not. When I first, I met Ava, I think about a year ago, I want to say. Somewhere around now. I've been, I've been playing that little for a little minute. I didn't lost track at this point. But she is consistent as a person. And she will call you out on your BS. But she always has something good and constructive to say. She always is there for, there for you. Like, she's, she's the strong friend. You know, like, it's like, who does she talk to? Because she's the strong friend. She's that type of person. So, and I'm not saying this out of, like, oh, you're just friends with Ava. You just want her to go support. No, like, I'm, I'm for real. Go, go support that woman. Like, she's, she's certified. She's been to school. She, look, she didn't do what she had to do. She's a she look. I'm tag her. Hold up. I'm a tag. She just waved. Hold up. I pin her. Where is it at? I just pin her comment, y'all. She down there. She got the love. She's the wave. She got the waves going on, y'all. Please, please, please go follow her. Like, 
if she could do wonders on a stubborn, bullheaded person like me, she can she can help y'all. Cause I look, Coach Brian, get your fine, but Coach Brian's stubborn. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm stubborn. And she and she is just look, I gotta give her, her flowers while she's up in here, y'all. I gotta give her, her flowers. But back to what we were talking about. But before we go back to what we talking about, y'all go follow her. Get a service from her. I love me some Ava. Y'all gonna love y'all some Ava. But um what's the last question we was on? I gotta scroll back up. I had to give Ava them flowers real quick. Matter of fact, she she the one. She was the one. You remember when I was telling you about the seeds and stuff like that? She the one that gave me some seeds. So she on the same wave that I'm on. Y'all better go. Y'all better tap in with Ava. I know that. Uh, let's see. Hold up. Now I got. Now I got to go back up. Oh, child, I missed out on so many questions. I have sized in my liver. Doctors not doing anything because they say it's not important. But they say, um, oh, excuse me. When it comes down to liver. Milk thistle, dandelion root. That's two herbs that you must take daily. Milk thistle, dandelion root. Me personally, I say drink it in the tea. It hits the system a lot faster. It's more potent, especially if you steep it for a long period of time. But if you can't, um, if you can't get in a capsule form, I mean, if you can't get in the tea form, get in a capsule form. There's some that's actually, you know what? Uh, let me go grab it. I got, I got. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Let me go grab it. Y'all, y'all stay right. There. Can you not leave that alone? My bad, y'all. My dogs follow me up in here. But um, but yeah, this is the one I was saying about is milk thistle. It's what well, they say, super milk thistle, but it's just infused. It's, it's milk thistle infused with dandelion root. This is the Nature's Way product. That's the one that I use whenever I run out of my uh. But I only take it whenever I'm out of my teas, cause I I get like the big boxes from Star Wars Botanical, or I get off of Amazon. Um, and that's the teas that I that I drink. But anytime I don't feel like ordering some more, and I still cause these don't. These it take a while for these to go bad, but um, cause these are super concentrated. But these are really, really, really good. That's the ones I was telling y'all about. Hey y'all, look at my little puppies. Well, I'm saying Lil, my big old dogs. They saw me come up in here. They was like, "We want to come up in here too." Uh, let's see. I'm trying to dad. How can I order this book? Amazon. I got mine off of Amazon. Yeah, it was like. Fifteen dollars, I want to say, is in between nine and fifteen dollars, and I got the paperback one. The Kindle version might be like five dollars, but I'm a f- see they up in here. They start all that noise already. Um, I'm a fan of paperbacks. I, I like physical books, so I let sugar and salt go for ten days. I was shocked at the results. It's all about what we eat and drink. You're so right. Yeah, I'd be trying to tell people. It's like health isn't as hard as we make it. No. Is is really not. It's like, what do you, you know, you know, I oftentimes tell people to do so they can realize what's really going on. Anytime you eat something or you're on a diet or you're trying whatever, log it, log what you're eating, log what you're craving. So let, let, let's say that let's log what you're craving, log what you actually ate and then log how it made you feel and keep track of how much water and our fruit or vegetable juice you drink within a day. Watch. You'll be able to pinpoint most of your problems. That's why all of my clients, we get to, I'm like, hey, I noticed you had this, that, and the third. How you feeling? Blah, blah. Oh, I actually feel like, uh huh, you went out, you deviated, and you had something that was high in this or high in that, and blah, 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 and you didn't uh, compensate for that, you know? So they look like they need to go to the bathroom. And amen to all your secret prayers. Secret prayers? You're too kind. <laughs> Can you tag on here? I did, y'all. I, I tagged her. I need that type of person. I already know y'all talking about evil. Y'all go, I'm telling y'all, go show evil some love. And this suggestion for eczema. So when it comes down to eczema, you have a stagnant form of, uh, of you have a stagnant lymphatic system. I'll tell that to people. So eczema for one, um, it's a lot of ways you can go about doing it. But I tell people flush. Like take the time to not eat solids. If you can go two weeks, take some time because something within your body is like, okay, because anytime you start seeing stuff from the inside trying to manifest on the outside, that means whatever's meant to filtrate on the inside is not getting all the way out. So I hate to, I don't want to, 
okay, I'm not saying this is your reason for it, but I'm using my other clients for example. Most eczema and psoriasis clients that I have, they're heavily constipated or they don't get everything out when they have their bowel movements. So what I will say is focus more so on getting your movements regulated. If that's your problem, get your, get your movements regular. A lot of fruit juice, a lot of fruit juice. Cut back on meats. I would say stop eating meat for two weeks just to let your gut get a reset if you can. You know, and like just you'll be surprised how much just simple fasting will reverse a lot of this stuff or at least get you on the right path for that. And then when you start taking herbs or you want to start doing more, um, let's see, eczema, a lot of because re- that that evolves more so to the, the gut and the liver. So uh, once again, milk thistle, milk thistle, dandelion root. That's a, what that would be a good starter herb for you. Um, hawthorn berry to make sure your cardiovascular system is rolling right. And aloe vera gel here and there. Here and there, because it is a natural laxative, but you kind of want to ease the intestine. So here and there, not every day. Well, elevator juice, I'll say that. Do we drink the dandelion tea every day? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. What's up, Jade in the building? What's up, Jade? But yeah, y'all, it's... I'm about to see. Let me find that. What if it's a baby and now a toddler? Wait, what question did you ask me before so I can kind of piece that together? Is are you talking about like the baby or the toddler has um has a has eczema? That's what you're talking about? Cuz if that's the if that's the case, it's uh what's that ointment? Hold on, let me find it. There's an ointment you can get. Where is it at? Because it's like a, it's a leaf. Oh, it is the child? Okay, cool. Let me find it real quick. Because there's an ointment you can use. I haven't had to suggest this in a long time because I don't deal with a lot of kids. That's not my specialty. But I do have a recipe I made. Give me a second, y'all. I just got to get to it. It's an ointment that I had... Um formulated a while back. It was like a little bath. Right, so, so it's chamomile. No, 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 it's not the chamomile. It's just bran. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's two to three, it's two to three to four handfuls of bran inside of uh inside of the bath water. That'll probably help the best. Because when it comes down to like baths, like I'm gonna just read what I wrote down. So the healing and soothing action of herbs used in the bath as well as known as infusions, usually one ounce or 30 grams of a herb. So you double the amount of fresh herbs to make sure that you get enough of it. So and infuse it in two pints of boiling water. So remember when we had this talk, I don't know how long you've been up in here, but remember we had this talk about like the longer you let it steep, the stronger it is and stuff like that. I oftentimes tell people, you know, you put for this type of situation, two pints for 15 minutes. So you'll get it to a boil. And you will boil the water for 15 minutes, but you let it steep for probably another 15 to 30 after that, just to wait, to make sure it's moving. You strain and pour that. So you always want to strain to strain and pour it into the bathtub. Um, and no, no soap the first time around because that, that destroys the effect. So you can get um, thyme that helps with the sleeping. So it's not as irritable. You can use hops, lime, flowers. Uh, matter of fact, can, we, can I pin my own comment? Y'all, I'm, once again, I'm new to Instagram, so if I'm going to try to type this in and then pin it. Give me a second. And if I can't, one of y'all copy and paste it and, so I can print it. I don't know how to work Instagram. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Let's see. So you can do um, you can do time is a good one to put in there. Uh, you could use hops. Let's see. We got lime flowers. Lime flowers is what I be t- telling my, uh, you better not fall. You better not fall. My little stain is starting to wiggle to the side. And then lavender. Lavender is another one. But really the brand, like oatmeal and stuff like that too, brand is really good. Can I pay my own comment? Yes, I can. It's lit. All right, cool. What about rheumatoid? Uh, if you're talking about arthritis, were you in here early when we talked about that or no, before I give that whole talk all over again? Because if you was up in here and we were talking about arthritis and carpal tunnel, it's literally the exact same method. You already love? 
You want to tell the people, hey? You just, you just want to lay down. Yeah, okay. It's my dog, yo. Well, one of my dogs. It's almost their time to eat and go outside, so that's why she's all in my face. But yeah, if you're talking about, uh, if you was up in here earlier when we talked about that, it's the exact same formula. It's all the same stuff. It's just crystallized waste within, within the, the joints. Recipe for water retention and weight loss. So when you talk about edema, edema is a form. Okay, so let, let me start by saying this. If you're retaining fluid, your body is trying to protect something. Depending on where the fluid is building up at, I know it's a sign of inflammation in X, Y, and Z, but fluid is like the body puts the fluid around certain things and retains it around certain things because it whatever else that's needed to be used to protect it, it's not, it can't do its job. It's not doing its job properly. So anytime you have edema, well, you, or you have like, because what's the, let me see, what's the other way? What's the other word they be using for it? No, not the eruptions. I need to, yeah, not that. Because they have two forms of it. There's one has, one has eruptions. The other one has like the immediate swelling. Right. Okay, cool. So when it comes down to the retention, I oftentimes tell people that like the body is trying to protect itself. The body is trying to heal itself, but it can't. So something is really, whether it be glandular, whether it be muscular, whether it be skeletal, it's all those type of things. Bladder whack. B bladder, like our bladder, B L A D D E R whack, W A W R A C K. Bladder whack is a herb that will help you immensely, but that signs that you are highly acidic in certain areas. So you need to flush whatever you're eating, whatever you're consuming. And it may be a cause of medication. Certain certain times you'll see somebody start to like develop with retention. They can't lose weight. And they'll be quick to say, oh, it's thyroids, it's pituitary glands. And they're not necessarily wrong. But if we understand that the swelling typically comes from the body trying to protect something, think about where you're swelling at. Think about how you're swelling. Go back and trace what you're eating and then start taking things that help with that. So you probably you're not hydrated enough. You're probably not on any herbs or you probably might be consuming something that's causing high levels of inflammation. So when you work in reverse rather than going forward or trying to base off of what's actually going now, trace back what you were doing and how you were doing things and you'll see a major difference. But I'm only saying that because I, I don't want to keep saying milk thistle. You'll be like, all oh, you talk about is milk thistle. But it's just one of those great type of herbs. But bladder whack, that's another one that you can do. But at any time your uh, edema starts getting to like the rupturing stage, you need to see a doctor. That's something you, you I, I don't wish surgery on nobody. But like, granted, do everything I'm telling you to do, but still go see a doctor because when certain things start to rupture, and pressure is imbalanced and you start to manifest on the outside in a painful way like that, you're probably going to need some type of surgery or something like that. So like things like um, uh, bladder whack, uh, uh, burdock root, um, cleavers. Um, uh, I'm going to just keep it. Black. I'm going to keep giving you this big old, big old list. Oh, I've been supposed to go off this thing, but y'all questions are so good. The one time I come on live and y'all give me some bomb questions. I have to go now, but I have to say really love your page. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm here to serve, y'all. It's inflammation. It's exactly. If you're talking about edema, yes, it is. Good afternoon. This is my first time on. Please tell me what to use to cure asthma. Um, Mullion, M-U-L-L-E-I-N. Mullion is really, really good. And also drink a distilled water mixed with either chlorella or chlorophyll. I bet you there's a brand called Chloroxygen. Not, not like Clorox, but think chlor, like C-H-L-O-R, and then oxygen. You put that, like, drink a gallon of that. So what I did was the little, I don't even have, I wish, I'm not about to go back in that kitchen. But, like, the little tube, the beakers are, like, not the beakers, the, um, what you call those things? The uh, tincture squeezers. They're about, like, this big. I did, I would get, like, a, a gallon and then, like, three part pulls in my distilled water, and boom, you'll be good. Because I, when I was trying to fix my runner's knees, my joints would be aching between that and eating right and doing right by myself. That changed the game a lot. But, yeah, if, when it comes down to asthma, and cut back on the cheese. A lot of my asthma clients are people that suffer with breathing problems. They eat too much cheese. Like, just chill out on the cheese. I'm not saying you are, but if you are, chill out. All right. I've been waiting for this person to email me back. Thank you. Give me a second, y'all. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just gonna jump in. All right, cool. Um, I saw somebody put something about lupus. Um, what form of lupus do you have? Because I don't want to, I don't want to uh say, oh, blah blah, this, that, and the third. But then you start, I don't have that type of lupus. I don't have, you know, like, let me know. Because the one I'm most familiar with is lupus with the with the arthritis. 
I can kind of dive into the other things on that, uh, but I'm gonna need my bum to grab my book for that. But um, the lupus that I get more so of with my clients is the arthritis lupus. So let me know which one you have, and we can talk about it. Um, what or oh, she just asked me that. Blad, no, not bladder work, bladder rack. So you spelled it right up until the O. Oh, just change it. So so bladder, and then rack. W R A C K. I'm a, I'm gonna type it in and put it down here too as we go as we switch topics. And y'all could just um screenshot it or whatever it is y'all do on Instagram. Oh, I sound like an old person. I don't be knowing what to do on this app. Thank you, but students are being a pain. Can you list these? Love this. Oh, you watching me in class. Put me on with your kids. Put me on with your students. Put me on the Bluetooth speaker. Say, this goes Brian, y'all. I dropper. Yeah, I, yeah, the little droppers. You're right. You're right. That's what it's called. That word was beam. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, put me on with the kiddos. Put me on with the kiddos, man. You said Discord. Cortland! My bad, y'all. All my friends keep coming up in here. I'm going to answer your question, but my home, my home up in here. Oh, what's up, Cortland? Y'all calling my dog. Cortland is the coldest can piano, piano player in the world. Y'all go follow him. He made a song called Come Through. You know what? After, I'm going to answer your question about the, uh, about the Discord lupus. I'm going to play his song, and I'm going to take my dogs outside to eat and do whatever, and I'm going to come back on live later because I ain't going to lie. I've been on here for like probably like two and a half, three hours. It's about time for me to rest my vocal cords and give me something to eat. But, um, oh, you're about to say, mama. I eat some celery. Oh, yeah, if y'all dogs, uh, if y'all dogs, um, Brett stink, get a celery stalk, and they're not going to eat it. Most dogs don't eat it. Even if they do, it's not going to hurt them. Let them chew on it. It's going to brush their teeth naturally. But, mama, your breath. We just switched their food to lamb. You know dogs are carnivores. We just switched their food to, like, lamb and chicken and rice. And Jesus Christ, their, their breath is so strong. But y'all coats look good. Kazi, your coat looking good, Kazi. Okay, uh, he said I just came up here. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to talk about uh discord uh lupus all right so autoimmune i'm gonna just and i'm gonna read it from the book this is the book i want y'all to go get it's called bartram's encyclopedia herbal medicine but we're gonna let's let's talk about it since we're here now like i said i'm more familiar with the lupus with arthritis all lupuses are kind of i'm not gonna say they're the same but they all stem from the same thing but i want y'all to kind of you know i want y'all to like read this with me and i want we're gonna this is how i would assess it so autoimmune disease antibody to dna non-tubercular Two kinds, discoid lupus, which is known as DLE, and you have systemic uh, lupus, which is SLE. DLE occurs, the one that, that she was talking about, occurs mostly in middle-aged women, but SLE in young women. Activity may be followed by a period of remission. The condition may evolve into a uh, rheumatic disease, so SLE. The symptoms are loss of appetite, fever, weight loss, weakness, thickened, scaly red patches of face, where you get the butterfly rash is what they're essentially trying to say. Um, it may evade the scalp and cause loss of hair. Sunlight uh, sensitivity worsens. Uh, you get forms of anemia, joint pains. Your spleen is sometimes enlarged. You might get a heart disorder. Now, keep in mind, these are the symptoms. It's not everything you'll get, but if you might get you know, a few of these things. Um, kidney weakness with protein in the urine. Protein in the urine means a lot of bubbles. A lot, a lot, a lot of bubbles. If you start seeing a lot of bubbles in your urine, that's, bad. that's a bad sign. You have too much You're taking in too much protein. You need more fruits and vegetables. Um... Let's see. Well, I stopped that. Symptoms worse on exposure to sunlight. Um, low white white blood cell counts. Many patients may also uh, present with Raynaud phenom uh, phenomenon, which some women, while some women with silicone breast implants, may develop lupus. Now, the treatments for this. I'll not, now we're going into my notes. So here's how I would treat treat a lupus patient. Patient. So I want to focus on antivirals. I want to focus on herbs. I want to focus on anti-inflammatories. And I want to focus on anticoagulants. So when it comes out to alternatives, if I'm going to give you a tea, it would be like lime flowers, go to cola, uh, ginkgo biloba, um, aloe vera, uh, uh, bond sets. If I want to make a decoction, if I want to start like doing more so of, um, uh, uh, let me think, let me think, burdock, uh, queen's delight, um, uh, holonians. If you want to get, let me see what they have in here. I know they got one for liquid extracts, like the tinctures. You can do um, what they're showing right now. Well, there it goes. Dandelion. Like, see, we talked about it earlier. Dandelion root. Black hawk. Wild yam. You do half of that. Poke root. You can use that. And lo and behold, when it comes out to topical, you can use sunlight berry creams like 
aloe vera, comfrey, horsetail uh, polluters, garlic ointment, castor oil packets. But the most important point that I need you to focus on is the diet. So you need to focus on foods that's um, high in calcium, that's high in vitamin A, that's high in vitamin E, and that's high in selenium. Anytime you start focusing on those type of foods and those type of things, whenever it comes out to lupus, because when we, it, let's be honest, they call it, oh, I don't want to piss nobody off, but I got to say it. Y'all take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. When it comes out to, when, not even just lupus, me personally, I'm going to just say me personally. This is my opinion. Y'all can run with it. Y'all cannot run with it. I don't feel like, I feel like you are cursing yourself or you are cursing out your lymphatic system whenever you're saying, or somebody's saying, oh, it's an autoimmune disease. The body, and I get it, you know, oh, my body is attacking itself and blah, 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 blah. No, there's something on a cellular level that's in there that's trying to come out and the body is going to always do what it can to get to it, to eradicate it and eliminate it. But anytime your immune system and your lymphatic system are not seeing eye to eye, it's because something is blocking the constituents of your systems to do its job properly. So that's like a sewage system or the pipelines. You use the bathroom. You, you took a big number two. You flush and you clog the toilet. So the first thing you're going to do is, okay, I got to get this through here so it can go to the septic tank and this, that, and the third. But something is blocking. The pressure is off or whatever it may be. So you flush or you put a little, what do they call them, little sink bomb things. That's the way like it caused the pressure to expand or whatever. Essentially, that's how your lymphatic system works. If I can't get this to work this way, I'm going to go another way to try to heal and or fix something. But will it cause damage? Will my lymph glands and my lymphatic system suffer from it? Yes. Doctors rule that as a what? Autoimmune disease. But at the same time, once you get to the problem, once you fix the deficiencies, once you actually tackle the weaknesses within whatever system that's having a problem, the autoimmune disease typically goes away. You know, so it's not that the... And, and once again, I'm not trying to piss nobody off. I'm not trying to say what the docs are saying is wrong. I'm not saying that. But it's just the way I see and view the lymphatic system. I don't believe that an autoimmune, system, an autoimmune disease would... I don't feel like the body would actually try to hurt itself like that. I feel like the body's like, we need to survive. So this particular part ain't doing it right. So we need, to got, we need to do this to go to do this to go here to go that. Now, I'm not saying... I'm not saying people are not born with disorders. I'm not saying that people, you know, I'm not saying everybody's born perfect, but the majority of us and the majority of our systems will not attack itself. Y'all feel me? So like, once again, there's, bro, I, I just would hope that y'all not take what I'm saying the wrong way, but do understand that if the body is attacking itself, that means that something on a cellular level, on a cellular level, it's not, in in sync or it's not in a position to be dealt with within the body because there's an obstruction there's a deficiency there's a something is off it's an imbalance prime example of pcos clients more my pcos clients most times it's androgen imbalances. so when that happens you can't the body can't process and it can't shed or it can't or it overproduces the different types of hormones or different types of cysts that need to go through or different types of endometrial lines that need to shit. It can't do what it has to do because the system is imbalanced. So now you get the sharp and stab pains. Now you start to get the heavy periods. Now you start to get the iron deficiencies. Now you start to get the, the, the personality. Like, like it's, if you're imbalanced or it's not where it needs to be, guess what? It's going to cause a bigger problem. You know, so my advice to you, like I said before, focus on vitamin A, focus on calcium, focus on vitamin E, focus on selenium when it comes down to your diet. And oftentimes it's misdiagnosed as rheumatoid arthritis because it leads to that. But, excuse me, herbs, like I said before, lime flowers, go to cola, ginkgo biloba, uh, I said aloe vera, bonsets, stuff like that. And focus on a high fruit volume diet, high fruit juice volume diet and watch the difference. I'm not saying it's going to happen immediately, but what I am saying is that you're going to see a different level of alleviation. You're going to see your lymphatic system start to move how it needs to move. You're going to see a change, but these stuff, these things can be tackled. They can be dealt with. They can, all of this stuff could, stuff could be fixed, you know, but that's, that's just me. I'm just coach Brian trying to get you fine. That's all I am, but I'm a man of my word. I hope Corlin's still up in here. Corlin, if you're up in here, request to go live. Well, no, Corlin don't like talking to people. I'm a, uh, he, he's shy. But I'm going to put on his song, y'all, and then whether y'all want to stay cool, if y'all y'all don't want to stay, that's cool. You know, y'all could be whack if y'all want to and leave. But um, I'm about to put on my boy, 
Cortland Mack is his name. You can find him on all streaming platforms. And I'm about to put on his hit song, Come Through. It go what? It go hard. Let me turn my speakers up. And then I'm taking my dogs out in XYZ. But it was great talking with y'all. Jam my boy music real quick. Once again, that was Cortland Mack would come through. You can find him on all streaming platforms. But yeah, that's my homeboy, Cortland. But I'm about to head out, y'all. I'm about to go. Uh, for all the people that's new up in here, hey, look, y'all missed out on one great grand slam of uh, a live. We talked about arthritis. We talked about psoriasis. We talked about uh, uh, eczema. We talked about lupus. We talked about um, and we talked about everything. And I'm I'm, pro- I'm going to try to come back later on today because um, we, we spent like two, three hours on here. I'm going to try to come back later on today, but I have a lot of content to make. I have a lot of things to post as well. But shout out to y'all for being on here. And the other questions that y'all have, man, like, look, I'm willing to answer them. And if I don't have the answers, y'all already know I'm quick to pull out a book and we can all talk about it and figure it out together. But look, I love y'all. Y'all have a great one. Y'all have a great day. Y'all be blessed. I pray that everything that y'all want happens. I pray everybody's at peace. Everybody have favor at their job. Everybody got favor in their life. Y'all sleep well. Y'all eat well. Y'all rest well. But I'm out. I got to go feed my dogs.